What's up guys? Welcome to part 4 of the Enhanced Input Root Motion series. In today's episode we're going to add in the dodge roll functionality. This will work with regular dodge animations as well. We will also get the crouch set up to be able to crouch under objects that we didn't do in the last video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first thing we're going to do is get our input mapping set up for our dodge roll. Go to our input folder, actions, and just duplicate the crouch, rename that into dodge. Eat that, still left that from testing. Just go ahead, duplicate your crouch, rename that to IA dodge. Control S to save that. We're gonna go back to our input, uh, go to our controller. We're gonna add in IA dodge, and I'm gonna set that up to left control. That all set up, let's go ahead and open up our animation blueprint as well as our third person player blueprint. We're gonna need both of those. So in our invent graph, BP third person character, let's go ahead and right click. IA dodge and let's go ahead and create a variable all it is dodging question mark then need do once go ahead and set dodging go ahead and duplicate that we're gonna need another one you can move that over go ahead and tick the box in the first one connect that to the completed then we're gonna add a delay this to 0 0.4 depending on the animations um, the delay is going to be different for every animation you may need to set it to the animations actual length um, to be able to find that if you go to your animation and just hover over it you're going to look for sequence length which will be right up under where it says enable root motion so this one would be 1.33333 would be the sequence length Sometimes you don't have to do the sequence length. We're not doing the actual sequence length on this one. Uh, it just depends on how you want the animations to work as far as when it's going to stop, um, how long the delay is going to be. So then we're going to go ahead and connect that. And then connect this. Or do once. Reset. I'm going to add a reroute node. Clean this up a little bit. Okay, go ahead and compile that. All right, and then we're going to go to our animation blueprint. We're going to go to our event graph. And we're just going to call the variable we just made here again. So drag off our character reference is dodging so get is dodging and then promote that to a variable and rename this just is dodging without the question mark and then we're gonna just connect that right up here like we've done with our other ones go ahead and straighten this out debug thing I don't know why that thing always is set by the default all right so we're good to go there so now let's go into our anim graph now we're gonna go ahead and create a state machine this is gonna be for our dodge animations dodge apparently I cannot type again today and then we're gonna drag off of that type cache 
create a new cache, and then we're gonna name this one Dodge Cache. Comment on that, Dodge. Change the color on that. We'll go ahead and compile. Don't worry about the error. Just like yesterday, we'll get that fixed here in just a minute. Now we're going to do a blend space. So right click, go to animation, and we're going to create a blend space. Pick our SK mannequin skeleton again. This PS dodge. And if you have not uploaded or imported your animations yet, um, go ahead and do that. Uh, make sure you get those set to enabled root motion um, like we did our our animations in the first video and the new animations in the second video um, you want to make sure that they have root motion enabled otherwise it's not going to work correctly um, let's go ahead and open up that blend space and we'll get this set up um, same thing you know just like we did with crouch and did with our other locomotion Top's gonna be side input for horizontal. We're gonna do negative one, positive one, snap to grid. Forward input, negative one, one, snap to grid. All right, so now these are actually pretty simple. We only got four of them, so we've got dodge back. Obviously, he's going to go in the back. Um, dodge forward. Dodge left. Dodge right. We're just going to have our diamond here of the four animations. Go ahead and save that. Close that out. We're going to go into our dodge state machine we just made. Drag off. Add a state. Dodge. Pull. Cool. We're gonna add our blend space. We just made into there. Connect our side input and our forward input. Go ahead, compile that. And I'll go ahead and rename this to Dodge Roll. Just in case. We may uh add just a dodge in too I'm not sure at this point but that way it's just named correctly okay so we're gonna go into our main state machine just like we did with this we're gonna set up our transitions and stuff for our dodge roll so go ahead and drag off from locomotion dodge roll then we're gonna drag back to the locomotion. Dodge roll. The output, this is where we're gonna drag off and get our cache. So we'll get cache, dodge rolling cache. Roll. Okay, so to go into dodge roll, just grab his dodging. And to go from dodge roll back to locomotion, double click that, get is dodging, and we're gonna add a not boolean. That. And go ahead and save that. Save our third person character blueprint if we haven't saved that yet set out there we go now we are dodging we can even though we only used four we can still dodge in all the directions now let's go ahead open our blend space back up real quick let's add a little bit of smoothing 0 0.4 and we'll leave that at spring damp damper for this one a 
You can dodge roll while you're walking as well. Um, and while you're sprinting. So we can still roll when we're just standing idle. If we hit control, we don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and get that fixed. Let's fix that. Add a branch in between our input action and our do once. Let's set that on the true side. Then we're going to grab our side input get side input get our forward input drag off side input we're going to do not equal and we're going to leave that to zero go ahead and duplicate that and connect our forward input to that one we're going to come off of that do an or boolean connect both of those to the or boolean and we're gonna connect that to the branch. Go ahead and compile and save. And let's check that out, make sure that's working. Now we are not rolling when we are standing at idle, but we are still rolling when we move. All right, let's go ahead and highlight all those. We're gonna collapse those nodes. Just clean this up a little bit. Um, we're gonna name this Roll. What should we name this one? Must have directional input. There we go. Copy this name up here and paste that in the description again and I'm gonna set this color green drag this up right up underneath our branch <clears throat> clean this up a little bit we're gonna comment this dodge roll Now to get our crouch working correctly, real easy fix. Um, first thing you need to make sure, click on your character movement and in your details, type in crouch. Uh, make sure you have can crouch ticked on there is true. We're gonna drag off of our true side and we're gonna get, just type in crouch gonna be just like the kind of like the jump and stop jumping and then the false side uncrouch I'll and save that and let's go ahead and add another box here so I'm just gonna select this one control D to duplicate drag this out some I'm gonna raise it up to about yeah, right there should be good let's see no that's too high I'll bring that down to probably about there and we're gonna go ahead and crouch and now we're able to crouch up underneath this You have a little bit of a camera jerk there. Uh, we will get that fixed in the next episode. Uh, next episode, we will also be adding in our jump animations. Get the uh, jump animations taken care of. And then after that, I'm thinking we'll probably do swimming. Um, add in swimming animations and get our swimming set up. So that we have pretty much a full range of locomotion. Um, 
crouching, sprinting, dodge rolls, um, jumping, swimming. Might do some climbing after that. Uh, we're going to continue this series on for a little while. I plan on adding quite a few things to this. I'm um, thinking about maybe wall running, uh, possibly ledge uh, ledge climbing. You can jump from ledges and stuff like that, grab hold of ledges. Um, also could do just wall climbing in general. Um, that way you could just do kind of like a, a Zelda type of thing where you can just climb up the wall. Um, and we'll set that up to where you could have certain walls that are climbable and then other walls that are not kind of thing. Uh, quite a few things that we can do still. Um, any suggestions that you have, let me know down in the comments. If it's something that is feasible for us to do. I, I'm thinking I would maybe like to add in a slide as well. So when we're sprinting, instead of going into crouch, we actually slide across the, the ground. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.